Okay, how's here's another tutorial, a parametric family, how to edit a family, and what are types of uh, type, um, yeah, what are the types of families that you can make. So, there are two types, you have the parametric with array, and the other one is just a fix, and you use the yes and yes, no parameter to, to in the visibility, in the visible here visible parameter parameter okay so for this specific family for example select this one I customize this one uh, for example if I select four seater then you have only four so and also modify this table so you can actually edit that here in the four seater I select the table four ah uh, table table okay if I turn on that table four this one it will automate okay so this is how you control it but let's modify this one and let's follow the example of um, Paul Obin he created some uh, parametric array families and how to um, automatically uh, divide the total length of this chair and then divide by the number of uh, seats Okay, so let's go to the screen from Paul Obin, this one. So this is the parametric sh shelf array. So you can research and study here. And okay, you can download the fa family and then apply it to the specific family you want. This is, uh, he is using the round up, but let's use the basic one. Okay. Okay. So for this one, I already edit the family. Uh, so this is the family that we are going to use a sample family that we are going to extract the formula here this one so we should be uh, so we should um, follow all the information here and the structure and the, also this formula here we should copy this one from that uh, sample family family or reference family okay so this one is our source family we'll copy the parameter and this one i didn't think uh, i need for this one oh, so this is my the family that we want we want it similar to that similar to this uh, family from paul oben he is the master rabbit the jedi jedi master of all jedi master in uh, Revit family editors. There are many Jedi Masters, but I think uh, Paul Oben and Eric Wing is my, my I want to be their uh, um, apprentice. Eric Wing and Paul Oben. Special mention. Anyway, so let's go back to the family. Where is it? Okay, this one. So this one will automate that the the placement of number of um, shelf support by its length it's already divided by the length so let's say i want maybe a, a shelf length of 2000 with 2000 two meters so it's a two if i place uh, 1000 still it's still two because it's ready uh, have a conditional uh formula here okay so that's the good thing about this parametric array with the formula so we'll make it into the my chair apply this uh, same uh, beam process to that chair okay so let's go and start okay cancel let's go there okay here go here so in this screen, uh, you have the shelf. Okay, this one, this imported card symbol. So what you have to do is just, you can place array first. Okay, you can maybe place this one, this place here. Um, and then you place this one. Behind. 
okay and then maybe i want to already predefined here edge offset 40 so that's one is very short maybe you want to make it here okay and so So you change the edge offset to uh, let's see. Okay, so yeah, there you you go. So maybe two fifty. Okay, don't worry. Then from here, um, you draw an array. Wait, okay. AR and then it should be in last I will show you why we should place it last okay so this one is a group now then you add this uh, reference plane in the group this one okay and then you add it then you align it in the center of the seating then you lock it there once you place that uh, reference plane it will also affect here it will replace see okay now we're going to place also similar offset edge offset ah oh, okay okay it should be okay. this should be Okay, and delete this one. C O D I. Mm -hmm. And then this one. Then we'll lock this one. Okay, create additional one or you can uh, yeah, just create an additional one for the edge offset. The I seven minutes. I have fifteen minutes timer, so I just select edge offset. Okay, so now it's working now. So they have now similar edge offset. So what I mean is that we should follow the same pattern and be process of the parameter from this from this family. So if you select this one here, so you have support inset. So that's why I created only supports inset. This one is will divide uh, both direction, but the other one I sel I selected only one direction. It will go from here, from it will extend from here to here, not both ways. Okay. Then you have okay, okay. So quick. Then I think we're ready for the formula. So okay, that one. Then you have to align first this one here, and then you lock, and then you lock also this one, and then you select this one. You have now this parameter. Okay. Um. Yes, the mentioned parameter. And then the number of seats. You place it number of seats. So it will be five. But it's not yet divided by us per reference family that we've seen from Paul Obin. So, okay. From there, you, we select the I. And then this one is the total length, 2693. Okay. Uh, table length, 2693. Okay. Okay, I can live with that. Mm -hmm. table length so you can create uh, any parameter right uh, because this is already some existing parameter created so you have the table length and the edge now the formula we're going to the formula so the formula will be um, let's see, let's take this. hey new one is my interview pitch anyway 
So the formula, to get the formula, you go back to, to the here. And then, then you just select and copy paste in your. If you have a note. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then in what's the parameter? Num actual bracket space. Then you select. I think this is a reporting parameter. Place. And then this one is the number bracket. Okay. There you go. Actual bracket space. Okay, close. So we we'll go back to the family. This one. So if I select this one here, okay, here, All right. And then I sell. I will select the formula. So the formula is going to create new one. Ah, uh, sorry, new one reporting parameter. Uh, this is just a yes and then actual uh, space you paste now the space and then you okay you have where's the opposite okay this one reporting so Total space, uh, space in report. This one, uh, space in report is we put wait. A spacing. Ah, sorry. Delete that. It should be length. Sorry. It should be a length. Okay, not reporting. Yes. Actual spacing. Okay. So, actual spacing. Oh, yeah. That is already here. This one. So, it should be... Uh, not help with it should be total length should be correct uh, naming total total length minus uh, edge offset and then edge offset Okay, let's post this. So now this is the family created. So if we place here the total length maybe um, 8,000, 8 meters, so just example. It will divide, divide now the exact spacing also. Okay. Check the formula, you can copy it. So maybe total length, I will place it in the, the instance. I hope it's working. Yeah, so this is the formula. Let's copy it. So if we load this one to the project, okay, shop in brackets. So, if I select and then check maybe the total length, I want only 1,500. Let's check how many chairs it will be. Three. Oh, so, it will automate. Maybe 1,000. And then apply. So, two. Uh, that's the how to modify this one and edit the family. So, maybe you want to change uh, 3,000. Okay. 3 meters and then you change the op distance you can change also maybe you want a uh, 800 distance let's say example then it will divide also the distance of the parameter i think that's it so this is more uh, advanced and this one is the basic one parameter
So yeah, thank you.